Uh, looking so forward. Been so far forward to have Matt here. Matt, it's always great to see. It's been such a long time. Looking so forward to this event. Uh, I know everyone's just starting to log in right now, and we're sharing that on the, the um, in the room right now. We have two rooms going on actually right now uh, that we're, that we're broadcasting in really quick. So we got the Cyber Group room, and we got the Zoom meeting. Just let everybody know. And uh, if everybody's logged in in the Cyber Group room, you could probably hear my audio. I'm broadcasting live right now. But uh, please log out and just log into this uh, new room because you won't be hearing that audio, okay, everybody? So I'm going to stop sharing in that room, and hopefully everybody's in the Zoom meeting. So let me just end that share. Perfect. All right, so uh, let's get to uh, just really quick. Let me do a quick little intro for Matt. Um, first of all, a uh, very interesting story about Matt. He's been around. He's a former decorated pilot. I'm just reading his bio here, just out of this world. He graduated from Naval Fighter Academy. And you know where it was? The famous movie Top Gun. And that's that's even cool to even know someone actually went there. That is really, really cool. He flew about 44 combat missions in Iraq and was active duty taught how to trade options and successful with trading for the past 20 years. And one, one thing that's really cool about what Matt's doing is I kind of use the same metaphor that Trading is like being, you know, it, 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 you got to be on top of things. Like people tell me, like, would you go out there and have a pilot? You know, would, could, can I go out there and fly a plane without even knowing how, how to fly a plane? You know, trading is the same thing. You know, it's all about just got to know how to play the game, know what's going on. And we all find our niche, you know, and we do a little bit of everything. And you see some of the stocks that we traded. I mean, you saw what was happening yesterday. The market had a huge rally over 500 points. We had a couple of stocks that we traded today. I know some of you in the trading room. That CCC, that what is that stock up over about 700% in the past week? We were up today. I mean, it was up 45%. Just made a big pop right now, actually. But, um, but you got to know why it's going up. And one of the things that you need to know is that not only being a good day trader, which I was ta talking to his, his own audience yesterday, but... Some of you like to trade options and you should trade options, but a lot of you are trading for the wrong reasons. And you have to know why you're trading the option this way and not that way. So I'm really looking forward to have Matt to kind of go over those details with you. And like I said, I don't, I'm not a jack of all trades and neither is he. And if anyone does, we're not general contractors. We're good at what we do. You can't come and ask me to do your plumbing if I'm an electrician. You know what I mean? You can't tell a framer you know, to do molding, you know what I mean? We all have our own niche and trading's the same thing. So I wanted to bring the experts in here. And one thing, like I said, he's been doing this for over, you know, 20 years and anyone that's been around that long, okay, is is is, is priceless. So uh, Matt, I don't want to take too much time and tout you up too much and blow <laughs> your head, but uh, the stage is all, your, all yours, buddy. Thanks, bro. I appreciate it, uh, Fausto. Uh, great presentation yesterday, man. Uh, I, I really appreciate it. Uh, I love when you come and present. Uh, and as Fausto and I always say, man, uh, we believe in uh, cooperation, not competition. I sat there watching him talk to the Top Gun Options members, man, taking some notes, and uh, and uh, we definitely complement each other. There are folks who watch some of my options training multiple times, and they're like, man, I, I, the third time I watched it, I heard something different. So I love working with Fausto and CTU, great reputation, and he's he's just a, he's a great American. So awesome. Let's go ahead and get airborne. Um, the standard disclaimer, uh, not telling you what to do. You got to fly and fight your own airplane as the pilot in command of, of your portfolio, not a registered investment advisor, broker, dealer, all that type of stuff. You're getting to kind of eavesdrop on, on what I'm doing as an options trader. And obviously, trading options involves risk. This is kind of the the duh uh, disclaimer that we got to get out of the way before we get airborne. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, my presentation is called Trading the Death Star. And if you're sitting here like, well, what the hell is the Death Star? Well, uh, you know, Fausto aged me with how long I've been doing this. But uh, obviously grew up watching Star Wars. Now I got three Star Wars nerds running around the house. The Death Star was what? That big? Uh, space station and uh, took over the universe, got blown up a couple times and uh, and 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 came back even stronger. So make sure the, uh, you know, electronic nicotine is silenced because you've never heard what I'm about to tell you. I guarantee you. Matter of fact, you've heard the exact opposite of what I'm going to tell you. So that big Death Star, this is the only stock, the only stock you need to trade. And if that doesn't hit you right, 
sit up straight, and I'm going to explain why. Now, as Fausto said, Top Gun pilot, Navy guy, uh, I, I helped run a, a volatility arbitrage firm up in the Chicago Board of Trade, but we're going to start with a little bit of a pilot question here. So well, let's do a little bit of a quiz. You don't even have to know anything about aviation. Which fighter aircraft would you rather fly? And I'm going to give you two choices. Here's your first choice. Take a look at that cockpit. That's an F-4 Phantom monster airplane. Over 300 switches and dials in that cockpit, okay? we the, the pilot would spend a lot of what we say heads down time in the cockpit looking at these instruments instead of eyeballs out of the cockpit looking for enemy MiGs, enemy aircraft, or surfaced air missiles, SAMs, or AAA anti-aircraft artillery. Matter of fact, this aircraft was so labor-intensive, they threw another dude in the back seat just to run the radar, okay? Very, very labor-intensive aircraft, okay? So that's... Choice number one, or that aircraft. <laughs> Take a look at that. That's the F-35, the Lightning II, the Joint Strike Fighter. Two flat panel displays. Ain't no steam gauges that we saw in that F-4 Phantom cockpit, folks. This is actually uh, the Wonder Woman jet. It's invisible to radar, and the pilot, when he or she looks down, they don't see the cockpit. They see through the aircraft because of all the sensors. And you want to get really creeped out? These jets are learning. They're learning where the pilot looks and what the pilot does at different portions of the flight, and they're getting smarter. Now, as Fausto alluded to, I believe that trading is a form of combat. Somebody's going to win. Somebody's going to get their ass kicked. So which one do you want to do? Do you, do you want to win? So in the trading of combat, you want to minimize, you don't want to have 300 switches and dials. You should have two flat panel displays. What the hell does that have to do with anything? I'm going to show you. By the end of this brief, I'm going to give you an up-to-date intelligence brief. I mean, holy Fed rally, Batman. So we're going to talk a little bit about what happened yesterday. The only stock you need to own, and again, if that's not hitting you right, I'm going to fix it. And a good substitute to trade if you don't believe me. But you ready for this? <clears throat> Real quick. Why am I listening to the guy? How's the smart money doing year to date? Fausto and I have been in this game for a long time, and we know there isn't any such thing as the smart money. We're the smart money. You mean the smart money who got the COVID crash wrong? Uh, uh, Ray Daly or some of the other guys like, oh, we need to close the markets. I'm like, no, 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 dude. I got puts on the S&P 500. Ain't no closing the market. But how are they doing uh, year to date? Take a look at this. This is the Barclays Hedge Fund Index, right? Some people think, oh, I'd love to be in a hedge fund. But really? How are they doing year to date? I got to put my glasses on. 2.35% year to date. I want that to sink in. That's how the smart money's doing. How am I doing? Take a look at what happened. Look at the past three months, man. Holy volatility, Batman. Implosion, explosion, implosion, explosion. Rip your face off, Rally. I took a screenshot of this before I got on the brief today. This is my personal brokerage account, 136% year to date. And take a look at where I really started to outperform the market. It was when all the insanity started to go on. Folks, everybody's a genius when? When the market's going up and to the right. Ah, at people at cocktail parties. Ah, everybody's brilliant when the market's going straight up. Not really. You know who's brilliant? is when the market's all over the place. So that's my personal brokerage account. Just took a screenshot, added it to my PowerPoint before I jumped on this brief. Real quick, Fausto already covered this. Navy Hornet guy, Top Gun graduate. I was an adversary pilot, so I was kind of a bad guy. Operation Southern Watch, Noble Eagle, and Enduring Freedom. What's this have to do with trading? Everything. You don't join the Navy to get rich, folks. <laughs> you join the Navy to serve your country, see the world, all those good things. But I was always interested in finance. Right. So instead of sitting in the ready room drinking coffee with my boots on the table, I'm looking at the Wall Street Journal. I taught myself on active duty how to trade stocks and options. And I applied everything I was learning as a pilot, fighter pilot to my trading, having a strategy, implementing tactics that support the strategy, contingency planning. Before I even getting it got airborne, knowing what I'm going to do if something goes wrong, risk management. Now you're sitting there going, all right, that's Wiz over Fallon, Nevada, inverted. And this guy's going to talk to me about managing risk. Yeah. Fighter pilots, options traders are some of the most risk averse people. 
You ready for this? You can't make money if you're losing money. So risk management, continue. everything I learned as a fighter pilot, I applied to my trading with incredible results. I popped up on the radar of one of the largest volatility arbitrage firms headquartered right there. Everybody should know that building, especially if you watch Batman, right? That is the CBOT. That is the Chicago Board of Trade. I had a great time when I was there. I helped build a, a hedge fund. I helped uh, build the um, uh, Options House. If you know that retail brokerage, it was called Options House. I, I, I had an absolute uh, blast, right? So managing director strategy, multi-billion dollar company. And then I founded the Options News Network. I don't know if you, if some of y'all remember that. We were the CNBC for options before John and John and Pete got clipped from CNBC or, or quit. Not sure what happened. CNBC paid lip service to options, right? It was kind of the uh, the stepbrother. So the Options News Network, I filmed on the, the floor of the CBO and the CBOT and gave you all a behind the scenes look at what was going on in the options market. I like to tell people I was Eddie Murphy in trading places. I was Valentine, right? Just a little, little lowly retail trader. And then I went to this trading firm and they're like, How, what are you doing? I'm like, I do this. And they're like, Oh my God, that's brilliant. I'm like, <laughs> okay, I guess the smart money ain't that smart. Wrote a couple books, COVID crash from panic to profit. I wrote a book about how we predicted the COVID crash to the day. And then also from sea level to sea level, from going from the military to essentially the cockpit to the trading pit. I run the Max Afterburner podcast, which is ranked in the top two and a half percent of podcasts on the globe. Make sure you check that if you want. And this is my big passion before we get airborne and talk about trading. I run the No Fallen Heroes Foundation. We are a 501c3 nonprofit dedicated to saving and changing the lives of our nation's heroes, our veterans. And you ready for this? With psychedelic assisted therapy. Two days ago, MAPS filed with the FDA to have MDMA approved for therapeutic use in the next six months. We're going to talk about the Death Star in a second, but I'm going to tell you you have you should be buying the psychedelic stocks with both hands now. Now, MindMed, Cybin, Atai, all these names, take a look at them since uh, the MDMA announcement earlier in the week. So we do psychedelic-assisted therapy for veterans. For the past couple of years, we've been forced to go to Costa Rica and Mexico. I'm pleased to announce we did our first healing retreat in the United States in Colorado. So Colorado and Oregon, it's legal at the state level. Uh, and it's this is my passion. In addition to teaching people how to trade, that's my passion and saving and changing the lives of our nation's heroes. Uh, uh, clearly, that's an old picture. That, but that's when we left Chicago. After years in Chicago, I'm like, you know what? I can do this on my own. I enjoy teaching people how to trade. Let's move to God's Waiting Room, Boca Raton, Florida, and I started Top Gun Options. All right, so here we go. Let's get airborne. That was me, and enough about me. How do you know when a date with a fighter pilot is half over? It's that part of the date where he or she looks at you and says, you know what? I'm, I'm tired of talking about me. Why don't you talk about me? All right. So here we go. I guarantee you, you haven't heard this before, right? And, and, and you've been lied to. Okay. Who have you been lied to by? And, and this is going to be, this is going to be shocking news or it's not going to be shocking news, right? Wall Street is lying to you. Now, half of you probably just said, okay, I paid the price of admission, which was free to get in here. And this guy told me that, but listen to me, who's lying to you? And what are they lying about? How many times since day one of investing, have you heard this? You cannot put all your eggs in one basket, right? You must diversify. Diversification is important. You must diversify the five steps to diversification, blah, blah. A diversification frothing at the mouth, you've been told. It's a lie. Who's lying to you? That guy. Anytime you hear the word broker, whether it's house, real estate, yacht, delete the word broker and insert the word commission. How many of you have seen the, the movie The Wolf of Wall Street or uh, Boiler Room or the movie Wall Street? Bud Fox. Boys, open up the phone books. I know we got the little old ladies in tennis shoes into this stock yesterday. Get them out and get them into this one. Why, folks? Commission. It's called churn. It's actually, and there's an industry term for it. It's called churn. These brokers want you in and out of so many names, it'll make your head spin. Why? Because they make money. Whenever you hear the word commission, it's money. Now, before somebody types in the chat box and says, well, Mr. Smarty Pants, I, whiz, trade at Robinhood. 
I am at a no, I don't pay commissions. Ladies and gentlemen, if you ain't paying a commission, you're not the customer. You're the product. You know who the customer is at Robinhood? It's Ken Griffin at Citadel down the street from me in Miami and Stevie Cohen. Folks, if you're not paying something, you're the product. You're not the customer. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm, if you haven't picked it up by now as a fighter pilot, I'm pretty direct. I'm pretty blunt. blunt so let me, let me talk as a fighter pilot real quick. Diversification is for stupid people. Now, if that offended you, I'm going to clean it up with a nice old man. You ready? Diversification is a protection against ignorance. It makes very little sense for those who know what they're doing. That's a lot of words to say what I just said. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, let's do this. Exactly, Damon. Diversification is a protection against ignorance. I'd, I'd say stupidity, but he's nicer than I am. It makes very little sense for those who know what they're doing. The only stock besides the psychedelics that you should buy right now is Amazon, period. So we have a service called Solo Amazon where, you ready for this? All we trade is Amazon. Now, I'm a, I'm a political science major from South Jersey, South Philadelphia. Let's look at charts. <laughs> look at this chart, folks. That's net revenue in billions. Folks, this is a hockey stick. Look at that thing, man. It is going straight up, ladies and gentlemen. So straight up. I, you can't even, it, 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 it's absolute insanity. Let's go look at the next one. You ready for this? Annual revenue by segment. I'm old enough to remember 10 years ago, AWS didn't even exist. Jeff Bezos and Andy Jassy, the current CEO, came up with AWS and like, uh, 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 what's his name's condo? Ladies and gentlemen, AWS is Microsoft. <laughs> so as this chart grows, each one of the, the AWS is, it's its own company, folks. AWS is insane. Look at, when you say the word cloud, cloud infrastructure, what do you immediately think? Apple, Microsoft, or Google? And you'd be wrong. It's Amazon has the most market share in the cloud. Wait, I thought Amazon's like a bookseller or you, you buy your socks and, and they're there in an hour. You'd be wrong. Look at the cloud. And then, so I don't want to get too political, but I'm going to get a little political here. Democrats hate this slide. Let's get into it. If you took Wiz from... 1991, when I first started, now I'm really old, 1991, and you draw, and you showed me this chart and you blacked out the word Amazon and you said, would you buy this stock? I'd look at it and I go, oh my God, look at the sales. Okay. Okay. That's a lot of sales or free cash flows down here. All right. And then I'd see profit down here. You know what idiot whiz would have done? I'm not buying this stock. I'd short it. That thing's going to go out of business. And then I'd be broke. I'd be an idiot. Why, ladies and gentlemen? Jeff Bezos doesn't even know what the word dividend means. Have you ever heard him? He's like, what the hell's a dividend? If I make a dollar at Amazon, I'm going to take that dollar and go put a competitor out of business. I'm going to buy a new airplane. I'm going to do everything but give it back to the shareholders type of thing. Jeff Bezos does not want to show a dollar of profit. So hence the political leaning at the top of this slide, right? P uh, uh, you know, AOC or whoever, like, we're going to come after Amazon and we're going to destroy them and tax all their profits. Yeah, we don't make any money. What? This is brilliant. So when you look at that type of slide, look at the sales, free cash flow, and then what? we don't make any money. It is brilliant. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Uh, JG, with a small account, trading with Amazon trades, netted $8,900 in a week. Kristen, this, these are all in, in my lifetime service. You guys are amazing. I trade a smaller account and have done 22 Amazon trades this year for 31 grand. Christine, month-to-date profits on Amazon, 170 grand with more to go. Thanks, Wiz, for all your expertise and guidance doing day trades with short calls to protect my Amazon profits, learning from the best. And then Anne blew me away. She blew me away in November. In three days, I made 90 grand on short calls against my 30 contracts utilizing Wiz's guidance. 
folks, before I get all sunshine, lollipop, and everything's great, I'm a fighter pilot. I'm an options trader. We got to look at the risks. What are the threats to just trading one name? Anybody ever hear of a small mom and pop company called Lehman Brothers? How about Bear Stearns? Jim Cramer's heard of Bear Stearns, right? He was like Khrushchev at the UN, a, a bald guy frothing at the mouth with his shoe. You're an idiot if Bear Stearns is safe. I put my money in Bear Stearns. Three days later, it was at zero. Good call, Jim. How about pets.com? How about Enron? Folks, we could spend the next 26 minutes together walking through the graveyard of stocks that go to zero. So the risk of just trading one name, the stock can go to zero. What is the common theme between Lehman, Bear Stearns, Pets.com, and Enron? You ready for this? They didn't own a thing. Enron didn't even own the building they were in. Watch, watch that Netflix special. Enron didn't even own the building they were in. Pets.com owned a URL and a stinky sock. Uh, the, the Lehman Brothers and Bear Stearns, they owned paper. As Fausto can attest to, man, counterparty risk. All they own, it, it doesn't even look like Lehman Brothers own the sign on the building. Ladies and gentlemen, stocks can go to zero, but Amazon, I mean, technically the stock can go to zero, but physically it can't. They own things. When you own things, those have value. I did uh, consulting years ago at an Amazon fulfillment center south of Miami International, Ladies and gentlemen, it was an aircraft carrier. It was busier than the flight deck of an aircraft carrier. Robots and people move. It was insane. It was bigger than an aircraft carrier. They own real estate, folks. They own, what do they also own? Airplanes. Full disclosure, I got off active duty in the Navy and I went to fly for FedEx. Hated it. I could not stand showing up to Memphis at midnight and flying till eight in the morning and trying to sleep during the day. I couldn't do it. Left and went to American. First and last day of work in American Airlines, 9-11, separate story. I'm bringing this up because about seven, no, eight years, I forget how long ago. A long time ago, a buddy of mine who stayed at FedEx and went to the corporate side, took his pilot suit off and put on a suit. He called me one day. He's like, Wiz, Jeff Bezos, who, I'm like, he owns Amazon, why? Well, that's weird. Well, why, why is it weird? I heard from a buddy of mine at GE Aircraft Leasing that he's buying, he's leasing five jets. I said, he's going to do it. He's like, well, he's going to do what? I said, he's going to put you out of business. Guess what's happened? Amazon is now shipping cargo for outside customers with its latest move to compete with FedEx and UPS. Look at the date on that article, 2021. Next one, Amazon poised to pass UPS and FedEx to become the largest U.S. delivery service by early 2022. Ladies and gentlemen, this screenshot was taken three weeks ago. The biggest delivery business in the U.S. is no longer UPS and FedEx. Amazon is eclipsing both carriers, and the gap is growing. Guess who called his old FedEx buddy when I saw that article in the Wall Street journal years ago i told people to get bearish bear, bearish bearish on rite aid cvs and amazon uh, 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 um walgreens why years ago little breaking news story amazon patents the word or trademarks the words amazon pharma years ago i said get it, it, these these there will be no need for a drugstore in the future you're going to get a text you're going to go to your front door a drone's going to scan your face and it's going to drop your prescriptions in your hand. Or you're going to walk out to the blue truck that doesn't have a driver in it and it's an electric vehicle, enter your PIN number on the side, you, the door will open and you'll take your package. Nailed it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is in fact the Death Star. Whoa. Oh my God. Why is Donald Trump in my presentation? Exactly. Political risk. Does anybody remember Donald Trump year one of his presidency grabbed his cell phone one morning and started tweeting Jeff Bezos, Amazon. It's a it's a monopoly, huge monopoly. Somebody needs to break it up. Somebody needs to do something about Amazon. Unbelievable. What happened to the stock? It went down a little bit like, oh, oh my God, the president of the United States is targeting our company. Then what happened? Nothing. 
and the stock kept going up until year four of his presidency when and again he grabbed his phone. Amazon, huge monopoly. Somebody needs to break it up. Unbelievable monopoly, huge, break it up. What happened that day? It went up like 3%. So there is political risks to this. But if the damn president of the United States couldn't even go after Amazon, guess what? So yeah, there's a slew of bad headlines and antitrust and DOJ and attorney general antitrust grounds and all, you know, FTC. Ladies and gentlemen, you ready for this? Um, let's talk political risk. The last time I checked, Jeff Bezos was the richest. Eh, well, it depends on the, the day of the week, right? Either Elon or Jeff, richest guy in the world. Last time I checked, he probably has one or two attorneys on staff, right? And I'm old enough to remember Standard Oil. I'm old enough to remember at and I'm old enough to remember Microsoft. When Uncle Sam says, you know what? You might be a monopoly. Do you know how long the average it takes for them to even make that decision, let alone fight it in court? 10 years, five years early, quick, 15 years, the longest. It takes about 10 years for Uncle Sam to get around to the point where they say, you're a monopoly and we should break you up. And ladies and gentlemen, guess what? Amazon is mercury. What do I mean by that? If you smash mercury, what does it do? It goes into other little pieces of mercury. It's too big. Each one of these, Amazon Pharma, Amazon FedEx Air, Amazon Air, I guess it's called. Amazon Prime, ladies and gentlemen, is Netflix and Disney+. Plus. If you try to smash up Amazon right now and break it up into a bunch of little things, it, it you'd create 12 little monopolies. So, ladies and gentlemen, it's almost funny at this point. It's too late to break Amazon up. And yes, the FTC sued recently to, um, you know, do something. It ain't going to happen, folks. But I'm a fighter pilot. I'm an options trader. I said I'd brief you on the risks of just trading Amazon. So here are some of the potential threats. Do you remember what happened a couple months ago? People just robbing CDS, people walking in Lululemon and just taking stuff and walking out. Now, James Woods, great tweet about this. Just so everybody understands the game here. Lululemon and these other national brand stores don't even care about theft because A, this crap is in fact virtually worthless, and B, they would rather sell it online. No muss, no fuss, no employees. When you see the stores locking everything up behind glass and forcing customers to select from a kiosk, it's a way to avoid paying humans, right? And lawsuits from staff loonies, blah, blah, blah. Invest in Amazon, folks. Pretty soon it'll be the only marketplace left. Boom, I'll leave the other political stuff out of it. But the guy's got a point. You go into a Walgreens or a CVS in downtown San Francisco, everything's behind glass. Why would you even go there? Get on your phone. I mean, hell, folks, I can order stuff on Amazon and it's here in an hour, right? So I'm going to be honest with you, folks. I'm bipolar and so am I. What do I mean by that? I'm going to tell you how I feel as whiz. I can't stand Amazon. I can't stand Jeff Bezos. He's a limousine liberal. During the height of COVID, all his employees are running around with no PPE on and all sorts of stuff like that. He's he's just, I can't stand Jeff Bezos or Amazon. And then I'm going to talk to, I'm going to take off that flight suit and put on my $10,000 Armani su suit and say, good. Uh, yeah, I love when they fire people who are trying to unionize. I love that they're lowering wages. I love that they're going to get rid of truck drivers. I don't care what happens to them. I'm, and they're going to be electric. Just like Gordon Gecko said in the movie Wall Street, if you want a friend, get a dog. <laughs> so to me personally, trading Amazon is a little bit of a hold your nose trade, but you're not here. I'm not here to make friends. I'm here to make money. And we make a ton of money trading Amazon. So those were the threats to trading just one name, in this case, Amazon. What are the benefits? Well, guess what? You trade the same name. And you're going to potentially profit no matter which direction Amazon moves, up, down, or sideways. As an options trader, I can make money on Amazon up, down, or sideways. If you just trade stocks, you can make money three ways too. It's called the buy a stock, hope it goes up, and pray if it doesn't. Not me. I just, I think I just got filled on an Amazon iron condor for the week, which is a range-bound trade. If, if you just hold Amazon stock and it's moving sideways all this week, you didn't make any money. Amazon moving sideways this week, I just, I think it was two grand in, in, on three grand of risk. 
you stay focused on the news and events that impact Amazon instead of a different bunch of stocks and ETFs. You become an expert in Amazon, reducing your time spent on a bunch of other positions. Let's look at this again. There was a, uh, he's a good buddy of mine now, but uh, there was a surgeon here in Boca, joined Top Gun Options. He's like, dude, I need help. Can you meet it? We went to Starbucks here. He showed me, he booted up his laptop and he's like, I, I need help. Can you look at my uh, brokerage account? I'm like, yeah, man. He booted his computer up. He swung it around. And I, good thing he's a doctor. I like fell and hit my head and passed out. Why? You ready for this? He had 33 positions in his account. 30. He tried, he started to try and explain. He's like, uh, well, this, I'm like, what is this? He's like, well, I, I think that's a pot stock. I'm like, did you just say you think? And then the next one was like, oh, well, this is a surgical stock a, a buddy got me into and it's down 50%. But w- when it gets back to where I bought it, I'll get out of it. I'm like, dude, you're a doc, right? Yeah. I'm like, you're smart. I think I am. Do the math on that stock having to get back, whatever. I said, stop talking. You, dude, you do office hours. You work 12 hour days, surgeries. He's like, yeah, in between you know, surgeries, I'm, I'm looking at my phone trying to trade. I'm like, enough. You have got to simplify your trading cockpit. Ladies and gentlemen, I do this for a living. I eat, breathe, and sleep looking at this stuff. Three to five positions is a lot. Even if you're doing it full time, folks, at that trading firm in Chicago, at my volatility arbitrage firm, we had a research desk. And by desk, I mean it was like a five, you know, 300 foot desk. 25 analysts sat at that research desk. They were tasked with knowing, eat, breathing, and sleeping Two, if you were a senior analyst, maybe three to four names. They had to know these things like the back of their hand. Do you know how many times I got up from my position and walked over to one of those analysts and go, dude, did you see what just happened in ABC? Isn't it your job? To, uh, Sorry. So folks, I, I don't want to offend anybody in here. If you're looking at your brokerage account going, uh, Maybe you're better than I am, man, but I want to, uh, as we said at the beginning of this, trading's a form of combat, man. I don't like losing. So simplify your trading cockpit, and I guarantee you it's going to increase your life. Uh, your, 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 it's going to make you feel better. Now, if you're sitting here going, he's talking to me, or this sounds pretty cool, just trading Amazon, but you still got bite marks in your neck. Sorry, Wiz. They got to me, man. I have got to diversify. Well, guess what? Also in our solo Amazon service, we trade XLY. So for all my must diversify people, guess what we also trade? XLY. I have a buddy who tells me that shrimp are a vehicle for eating cocktail sauce. The XLY is a vehicle for eating Amazon. 20, let's just round up, 25% of the XLY is Amazon. And then take a look at the other names in the XLY, folks. These are pretty damn good, except for the recall yesterday. Other than that, Mrs. Kennedy, how was it parade? Tesla, Home Depot, McDonald's, Nike, Starbucks, Lowe's, Target, Booking, TJX. So folks, if, if, if you're liking what I'm laying down, but you still need to whiz, I got to diversify. We also trade the XLY in this service, folks, okay? But you get a, a, a healthy portion of Amazon. So how do we target Amazon and XLY for max profit? If you join our solo Amazon service, it's every Monday at 10 a.m. Wiz, I'm with Fausto, or I, I work. 80% of our traders work, folks. I send out text and email alerts, and you get the replay, 20, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, however long it takes to render the recording. We're going we're gonna to be Marines. Step one is I'm going to establish a base position. I'm going to hop in that F-35. We're going to fly the speed of light out into the future. I think the uh, if we'll look at the Amazon options chain in a second here, you can fly two years out into the future, folks, and be long-term bullish on Amazon. Okay, so we're going to go out into the future, and we're going to do one of two tactics. One's called synthetic stock. It's just like you own the stock but it's a hell of a lot cheaper. So we'll use options to get synthetically long Amazon or a long call diagonal. Now look at the parentheses on both of those tactics with protective puts. Folks, I never walked out to the flight line and jumped in my, before I jumped in my Hornet, looked at the chief and said, hey chief, pull the ejection seat out. I want the extra 800 pounds of gas. I'm not gonna die today. I'm awesome. 
That's the day I would have died. So I always, in any of my positions, have protection. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you these tactics and we're gonna throw some protective puts underneath. Okay, smart. After we fly out into the future, put on our bullish base position, step two is we're gonna trade the front months. What are the front months? You're sitting in the front month, <laughs> December, January, February. Hey, Amazon's going up, Santa Claus rally. All right, we'll trade bullish spreads or buy some calls. Uh-oh, Amazon's going down. Ain't no uh-oh. We're going to make money as Amazon goes down with some bearish spreads or we'll buy some puts. And then Amazon moving sideways, we can do a tactic called an iron condor. It's a range-bound trade. Like I said, I had a weekly iron condor on this week. That is looking pretty good. So let's do that. Let's actually go, make sure I'm on time here, to my brokerage account. And let's go look at what Amazon's been doing. How about the Fed, man? Wow unbelievable so well actually i got an let me cancel that order oh, the screen's paused so right now let me go over here to my brokerage account here is my amazon trade for the week it's up 700 bucks let's analyze this so for this week i have three thousand dollars of risk to potentially make two grand i call an iron condor a football trade let me just kind of let me draw again here with our drawings it's called a football trade. Why? So here's the middle. Here's th there's the two uprights, right? This is a range bound trade. So as long as the football goes through the middle of these uprights, hell, it can even hit the upright as long as it goes in, not Chicago, hit the upright and go out. So I call it a football trade. It's a range bound trade. Let's actually go look at the trade. Let me clear these drawings. Uh, here's here's what the trade looks like. There's a bull put. Let's put uh, Amazon up in the background here. So Amazon has really for the past, I'd say month. That's not Amazon. That's what, oh, so look at this. Before I forget, folks, look at a tie. Life Sciences up seven percent today. A million shares traded. What else did we look at? Compass. These are all psychedelic stocks, folks. Write these down. Look at Compass recently. Five and a half of five dollars and forty cents up to eight. These names will explode. I've bought and I'm you should be loading the boat with these compass, a tie, and then mind med had some good news today, but massive sell the news. Look at this. Look at mind med. And here's what mind med came up with. Uh, here's the breaking news out of mind med this morning. This is a psychedelic stock. Mind med positive results for generalized anxiety disorder. And then this was the news. Uh, this week here, oh, let me move this control panel out of the way. Look at this headline. MAPS announces submission of new drug application to the FDA for MDMA assisted therapy for PTSD. So I'm going to, I'm going to stick with Amazon, but folks, when, when I see, tr when I see this stuff, folks, you have got to sit up straight and listen. I see our veterans and our first responders on these retreats. I take them to. I'm not going to drop anchor here. If any of you have seen the movie Lone Survivor or read the book, I went and did the medicine three years ago with Marcus Luttrell. And if any of you drink Black Rifle Coffee, JT, Jared Taylor, so me, Marcus, JT, and an NFL player suffering from horrific CTE, we went to a clinic in Mexico and it saved and changed my life. So before I finish with Amazon, please look into these psychedelic stocks. They are going to they are exploding. They are going to do once mom and pop sees MDMA legal for therapeutic use in six months, it's over with folks. You will not, you're going to regret not getting in these names and big pharma Pfizer. They can't stand this stuff. Marcus Luttrell, the lone survivor. Hey, whiz man. I was on 15 meds from the VA five to wake up five for lunch, five to go to bed. It's been three years since we went to Mexico. He hasn't taken a single medication. So let's get back to Amazon, but I I just wanted to wanted to meet uh so so mind med compass and a tie M N M D C M P S and a tie and and I'm not front running folks I, I'm in all these names uh, and there's an ETF ladies and gentlemen so write this one down if you don't want to pick winners SIL P S I L is the psychedelic ETF. It's a basket. It's got all of them in there. But I, I know since I'm in the psychedelic space, I know some of these names like the back of my hand. Okay. 
Let's get back to Amazon, though. But uh, hopefully you can tell I'm pretty damn passionate about this. Pfizer, Moderna, all these names are letting these psychedelic companies come out, do all, burn through all their cash, do the R&D, do the phase three trials. And then you know what they're going to do in a year or two? And I, you know, what's his name? Kevin O'Leary. He was down in, in Miami with me at a psychedelic conference. He's like, oh, yeah, I'm buying all these psychedelic names because I know Big Pharma is just going to swoop in one day with a check and say you're all ours. So, again, we're in solo Amazon. But when I see stuff like this, I I, I got I to gotta let you know. OK, back to the Amazon, folks. All right. I'm on time. So I have let's put the see, that was a God moment. I went to go select Amazon chart back here and the psychedelics were up. So I had to talk about it, but let's look at Amazon. Look at the range bound. Let's go three months. No, it was, it's been in, in range in a range for a month. Look at this down, up, down, up, down, up. If you just bought Amazon stock, you're miserable for the past month. Oh my God, I'm losing money. Oh, I'm up a little bit. I'm losing money. Uh-uh. So ladies and gentlemen, you can do with an options trade. I'll teach you all this stuff, folks. We have what's called full throttle training. If you don't even know what a call is or a put is, that's my job. I had a buddy who showed up to Navy flight school in Pensacola, Florida. His, his first flight in an airplane was like from Montana, where he went to college, to Pensacola. And in a short amount of time, he was a steely-eyed fighter pilot flying off an aircraft carrier. At Top Gun Options, I modeled Navy flight training that can take somebody who's never even said the word call or put and in a short amount of time you're, you're trading anyway here's the range bound trade in iron condor i call it here's the here's the basement i sold what is called a bull put spread down here it's a credit spread you're getting paid to do it i also so that's the basement let's just call it a house trade there's the bull put spread i put on this week 141 142 and here's the roof the 149, 150. As long as the, by the closing bell tomorrow afternoon at 1600 Eastern, Amazon is under the roof and above uh, the basement, I make, what was that? 2000 bucks on limited risk, right? Let me move this stuff out of the way. On limited risk. Let me erase these drawings. Let's go look at the metrics, okay? Let's analyze this iron condor that I have on right now. It's risking 3,700 to make 1,300. Okay. So, and uh, well, that's because it's already up. Uh, so, this trade is a potential $2,000 profit on three grand in uh, risk. Isn't that awesome? So, I did 50 contracts. So, you can do, and again, I'm not telling you what to do, not a restaurant investor, advisor, broker, dealer. When you come into, there's the real metrics of this trade risking three to make two. Okay, ignore those probabilities. There ain't no 100% probability of making two grand by tomorrow. The world could end tonight, right? Or <laughs> something horribly bad. So I, I rarely look at those probabilities. I use my brain, okay? So we've been trading Amazon for a, 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 I've been trading Amazon for a very, very long time. So I get the feel of Amazon and I know what's going on. Let's look real quick at the options chain. Because when you join and you join me in solo Amazon, I'm going to, hey, Wiz, I'm new. Awesome. Welcome aboard. We're going to go all the way out to, look at this. We can go all the way out to January of 2026, folks, and get long-term bullish on Amazon. Okay. And I would do that, like I said, with a tactic called synthetic stock. And I'm going to teach you that. It takes me 10 to 15 minutes to explain the synthetic stock tactic, and you're going to go, all right, that makes kind of sense. Uh, that, that makes sense to me. Instead of coming out of pocket a ton of cash right now to buy Amazon stock, why buy the cow when you get the milk for free, man? I'm going to show you an options tactic called synthetic stock. What what's the word synthetic mean? I'm long synthetic stock. You don't get two things when you're long synthetic stock with options. The first thing I don't I don't care about either of these with Amazon because the first thing is since you're not a shareholder. You don't get to vote. You don't own the shares. Last time I checked, <laughs> Jeff Bezos and his ex-wife own a little bit more of Amazon than you do if you buy your 100 shares. So if you get some sort of thing in the mail like, hey, you're an Amazon shareholder, here, vote for this. Just put it in the recycling bin. So with synthetic stock, you don't get to vote. And you ready for this? You don't get a dividend. What did I tell you about Jeff Bezos and a dividend? The guy doesn't even know what the word means. So 
why would you buy hundreds of shares of Amazon for a lot of money when I can show you how to do it and be synthetically long out to January of 2026, folks? It's a no-brainer. And again, if you don't even know what an option is or a call or a pit is, that is my job to teach you. John, that's exactly right. It's a simulated stock for potential growth without risk. John gets a gold star uh, for today because he absolutely nailed it. So synthetic stock, I love it. And we are doing pretty damn uh, good with it. You know what? Let us let me get back over to here because I want to keep Fausto. I know he's got a long day with all you guys as well. Let me, let, let's, let's get back uh, over uh, to this. So here's what I want to do. I want to talk about our solo app. Amazon service real quick to keep us on time. It's one of my newest services here uh, at Top Gun Options. It's 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 pretty it's pretty awesome. Usually my all my other briefs are like 167 a month or something like this, but you're ready for this. Since we're only trading one name in this portfolio, not volatility, not the psychedelics, not everything else I do at TGO, it's only 97 bucks a month. Went out to dinner in Fort Lauderdale the other night. The nice bottle of wine was double. The, the price of solo Amazon for a month. So uh, I'll actually give you a discount. $8.97 for a year, you get like a 20% discount if you do um, the annual, or I'll give you the link for the uh, for the monthly. Let me give you these two links before I forget. The, here is the monthly, 97 bucks a month. It doesn't go up, you, you, 97 bucks a month. Oh, okay, awesome. I appreciate that, uh, Fausto, put them in the background to keep me on track. Uh, so let's go over to here. So solo Amazon, um, is it, it's awesome. It's newest service. You don't have to spend a ton of money to get into it. About a hundred grand. This is a solo Amazon portfolio. What? 90, 98 grand. Let me to round up nearly a hundred grand, just trading Amazon, uh, year to date Wiz, I work every Monday at 10 AM. 80% of our members work. I send out text and email alerts. As soon as I see a trade. There's a, there's a screenshot of a of of, of an options uh, of a text alert and then in an email I take a screenshot of the order ticket and then I take a screenshot of the risk uh, ticket right the metrics you get a text alert you get an email alert and like I said 20 30 minutes after the brief it takes that long to render the recording you can watch the replay you know it's interesting because oh yeah Chris I'm so geeked. I think that's a good thing. I'm old. I don't know what these words mean. I've, I'm so geeked. Been a subscriber for almost three years now, and this is the first time I've been able to attend live. I only know you from the replays. So you ain't missing out on anything, folks. In the solo Amazon brief, if you're hanging out with Fausto or at work, you're going to get, hey, Wiz just placed this Amazon trade. Boom. It's like you're there. Okay. Um, here's what I'm going to do today too, man. I'm going to give you our primary, intermediate, and advanced workbooks. These are your flight manuals, man. These things are between us ladies, I go back and read these every once in a while to knock the rust off, man. These manuals are awesome. Now, I'm a political science major from South Jersey. Solo Amazon is $97 a month. Yep, never goes up. It's 97 bucks. You can stay in there forever. The manuals, if you went to my Top Gun Options page to buy these on their own, they're 197 bucks. Yeah, so I'll do the math for you. It's 100 bucks. So essentially, you got a couple months for free, man, because these manuals, they're yours to keep. These things are worth their weight in gold. So there you go. You, you made 100 bucks today if you do uh, if you join Solo Amazon. So you're going to get access to our live trade brief every Monday at 10 a.m., the text and email alerts, and our three skill-based manuals. You also get access to what we call our ready room. Uh, the ready room is is that it's it's a room in a fighter squadron with the couches and the coffee maker. I learned more about flying and fighting the Hornet than I did from a manual. So you get to go in there and, and talk and interact. You ask me questions, do whatever you need to do. Just, just like Fausto does uh, with his squadron. Uh, close my Amazon synthetic stock and my uh, Amazon 37 grand goose, <clears throat> excuse me, 23.8 in a month. Uh, Chuck, thank you, Wiz, for the calls. I closed three contracts at my 30% profit, cleared 15. Also had six Amazon calls that also hit 30% for another 50 grand. So you want to fly? Let's do it. It's only 97 bucks a month. Like I said, it's a, it's a cheap bottle of wine, at least down here in South Florida. So the links there in the, in the chat box, you can click on that 97 bucks a month before anybody even asks the answer is yes. If you want to do test fly for a couple months and 97 bucks, Hey, email support in a couple months, I want to do the annual and start saving money. 
that's the better idea. But if you're motivated right now, go do the annual and save uh, 20%. Now, I feel like the, the flex seal tape guy, but wait, there's more. There actually is more. Please, I'm begging you, if you don't know what you're doing, take the upgrade, man. It's full throttle training. You get access to eight training sessions, starting with, this is the market. This is a stock. These are calls. These are puts. And then we take a building block approach. Long calls, short calls and puts, covered calls, bullish spread. So there is that building block approach that I told you about that took me from a from a rock uh, sitting in a little propeller plane up to flying a hornet uh, over the skies of Iraq. So full throttle training, even if you know what you're doing, if you're sitting there going, I'm going to join solo Amazon, but I, I'm, I already trade options. The motto of Top Gun, you think you're good, we'll make you better. Okay, so it's pretty cool to have people come here that are like options Jedis and they're like, dude, watch your cover call training. Never heard it like that. And I learned something else. So take take the take the full throttle training, folks. Uh, this guy. So this guy's call sign is Utah. Mark Provo. He was a Blue Angel. He's a FedEx captain. Didn't know what an option was. He, he was on a layover down here in Fort Lauderdale. He's like, Wiz, I, I know you do Top Gun options. I, I need to learn how to trade. This was a couple months ago. Less than 20 trading days, and I'm up 15 grand on a 40 grand account. Moved to E-Trade, uh, blah, blah. He's <laughs> he, he, some of the things I was trading at the time. But again, Mark Provo, Utah, Blue Angel, FedEx captain, didn't even know what investing was, and, he, and 40 grand account up, uh, up 50 grand. So we're not full. That's an old slide. We're actually open right now. Um, totaled my Amazon trades for November, and I was in shock. Cleared. 117 grand in profits this month just on Amazon. So grateful to this group for what I have learned and accomplished. I had a total of 33, whatever. Um, one of our newest services, folks, Solo Amazon, uh, normally 167, but since we're only trading Amazon, it's 97 a month or 897 a year. And uh, Fausto gave me some good mutual support as a wingman by putting the links in the chat box. So folks, if you didn't learn anything today, I clearly failed. <laughs> but if... If this resonated a little bit with you to trade, clean up your trading cockpit. I'm telling you, man, I've been doing this for nearly three. I've been investing for 33 years and then kind of doing all this stuff for a couple decades, man. A lot of retail traders are scattered. You, they, they got steam gauges all over their cockpit. They're flying an F4 Phantom. I do this for a living, folks. And I fly an F-35. I was a Hornet guy, but I'd love to fly an F-35. Simplify your trading cockpit. Amazon is diversified in and of itself. We already beat that dead horse. And you can do a little shrimp or a vehicle for eating cocktail sauce. You can eat some Amazon and be diversified in XLY. Okay? So look at that, man. On time, on target. So let me just scroll up and, and see if y'all... Uh, have any questions, Richard? If I sign up, oh, let me scroll up. Sorry. Uh, doo -doo -doo. uh, if I, oh man, all these comments just flew up. If I sign up, when does the first play come out? Uh, Monday, you bet. So, well, Richard, if you join right now, you're going to get access to the brief that I did this week. Uh, and I'd go watch that recording on how I set up the Iron Condor because I'm going to do another one for next week. So, Richard, the next Amazon trade will come out Monday, or if I see one today or tomorrow. But long answer to your short question is, yeah, yeah, Monday at 10 a.m., all new Amazon stuff, if, especially if I know Fausto got a, a lot of good folks from TGO yesterday. If I get a lot of good folks from here, I'm going to give welcome you all aboard like you're brand new, and, and we'll do a synthetic stock all the way out to Jan of 2026. You, you absolutely got it. Uh, Andreas in Germany, we have different products, but I think it is possible to build it with derivatives. The answer is absolutely, uh, yes, you nailed it. A couple of new messages. What's the plan for the Christmas week as the Christmas is Monday? Uh, Paul, we have a couple, uh, bullish, they're called bullish double verticals. So I have some bull put spreads on, on Amazon through mid December. Well now, and I also have a mid January bullish double vertical on why because i think they're going to crush q4 we're sitting in it q4 earnings and it's going to be insane then we're going to get out of amazon tactically because february september october 
and February are the most volatile months. I think we're going to peter out. It, you ever hear this? It's a Wall Streetism because it's a Wall Streetism. Buy the rumor, sell the news. I think Amazon runs up Santa Claus rally into January. And even if they knock the cover off the ball, this is why retail traders sometimes hate Wall Street. It's like, wait a minute. They had fantastic earnings. Why is the stock selling off? It's already in it, man. Buy the rumor, sell the news. Okay. Awesome, Paul. Uh, Salik, what capital do I need? So Salik, I'm not a registered investment advisor or broker dealer. I, I don't know your individual situation, but I can talk in generalities. I know with E-Trade, to open an account, it's a thousand bucks and trade on margin is 2000 bucks. But we have people trading in solo Amazon, five grand, 10 grand. So the, the position that I showed you was based on $3,000 of risk to potentially make two grand by tomorrow. I was trading 50 contracts. So, um, so Leek, the way I'd say it is you're the pilot in command of your aircraft. If you look at a trade I'm doing on Amazon that says, 50 contracts is three grand in risk. And you're like, dude, I don't want to risk three grand. Then don't, it whiz, I, I want to risk a grand. Then you do, don't make me do math. 20 contracts, 15 contracts. You have to fly and, and fight your own airplane. I, I can't do it for you. Does that make sense? So it's it's kind of a nebulous question. I can't tell you what capital you need. I, I you know, it just, it, it just depends. Uh, one more question and one minute left. I have an E-Trade, Samuel, I have an E-Trade account, but they won't let me sell naked calls. They're smart. <laughs> you ready for this, Samuel? I, I don't think uh, uh, level five, though, I don't think anybody on the planet is going to let you sell naked calls. So Samuel, we never sell naked calls. If you have a synthetic stock position on Amazon that I'm going to show you how to do, they're technically covered. Right, I will teach you how to manage those short calls against your long synthetic Amazon stock. Okay, they're technically not naked. I'll, I'll explain. That's a great question, but they're technically not. Okay, so I do not. That is a. That is the. That's the third rail of options trading. Do not ever sell naked calls. Ever, ever, ever. I don't sell naked puts. I sell cash secured puts. Right. I got the. I got the coin in my account. Right. How many trades are we in at any time? Salik. So one trade will be the synthetic stock all the way out a couple of years into the future. So that's one trade right there. And then if we're trading the front months, that's kind of two trades going on right now. So I think right now I have three trades on Amazon all the way out into the future right now. And then a February one. Does that make sense? So uh, you want all of your students... Uh, Samuel, yes, you can trade with the level uh, two account. You got it. So, uh, you know what, though? Hey, man, these are all clicking pretty good. I, and Fausto's a busy man. I don't want to eat up too much more of his time. Do me a favor. And it's pretty easy. It's whiz, W-H-I-Z, whiz at topgunoptions.com. I know Fausto gave out his email to my guys yesterday and gals, so I'll, I'll do the same. Because I, I, I hate leaving with... Hanging Chad, so to speak, especially down here in Florida, but Fausto's a, a busy dude. So my brother, hey, thanks for this, buddy. We gotta we gotta do this a lot more, man. I like I said, I watched sat here yesterday watching you and I love watching you present and and seeing how you do stuff, man. Fausto flies an F-16, I fly fly an F-18. At the end of the day, we're both trying to to shoot down bad guy aircraft and we might just have a little different tools and techniques. But the, at the end of the day, we're both pretty damn successful at doing it. So, Fausto, my brother, thank you for having me. I, I really appreciate it. No problem, Matt. And you know what? I just want to make a, I was listening to you. And you know what? I, after seeing what happened yesterday and today, I, I was just I was talking to my staff. And I think what would be pretty cool is that uh, I think we're going to do this a little bit more with you if you're okay with it. Uh, but we want to have you back. But I want to do something a little bit more different. I want to do more of like... Uh, you know, uh, more of like a podcast, but do it like here. We could go back and forth, compare oh, some of yeah. trades towards options trades because yeah. I have so many questions to ask you. I'm not a good options trader because I really don't trade that options too much. And I know you're probably not a good day trader because you don't trade that much. <laughs> but a lot of people here want to do both and I can let exactly. right. So listen- that's you know, a Reese's peanut butter cup, man. There you go. There you go. Peanut butter and jelly. You know what I mean? We'll just mix it up, you know, but, yeah. uh, but, 
that, but I think that would be a pretty cool because like I said, yeah. you're the expert at that. And I think we have a lot, very similar personality. We both, you, you, you know, the difference is you're smarter than me. You went to Florida. I'm still here in the Northeast. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah. So well, you guys visit, you, you can come to visit Boca, man. And in, in you know, so I'm there all the time too. And I'm like, you know, it'd be pretty funny. So next time my, my in-laws are right in Fort Lauderdale. So right next to you. So done dude, next, next time you're down here, I'm going to throw you in the back of our L39 fighter jet. If you want to go up and do a dog fight. Get out of here. Yeah. I'll take no you up. No way. Man. Yeah. 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 Oh, go now, check now, out. Now, now you got me all excited. I'm going to be there next month, actually. So, yeah. Ready? So, if if you guys go check out my Instagram, official underscore whiz, that's our, that's our L39 fighter jet. So, we have, we own a two seat light attack fighter jet that we take. And if there's any hockey fans in here, anybody know who that guy is? So, we took uh, Henrik Lundquist flying uh, from the Rangers, uh, hall oh, of famer yeah. guy. Yeah. We were out in Aspen last week, taking him flying in the fighter jet. So that can be you, man, right there in the back seat. Oh, I'm, I'm down. I'm down. I didn't even know you could do it. Now you really got me excited. I, I'm, and when you're coming over here, I'm taking you. I mean, I can't take out a fighter jet, but I could take you crazy fishing because <laughs> feeling it up here. The striped bass are like jumping out of the water, the tuna are all over the place. So I don't know if you have Get some good fishing and stuff like that, but yeah, I'll no, take I, it. but Matt, but anyway, we're definitely going to have, uh, I really think a, a lot of people like we do, cause we do a lot of, uh, a lot of events with, with, uh, with our gurus and stuff like that. And I just, you got see, it. it's really good at what you do. You've been around for a long time. So I awesome. definitely want to have you, um, come on and, and, uh, and then, you know, it'd be cool. Like I also own another channel. It's called Faust the home living. I don't know if you know that, which mm -hmm. is stuff like this. So it's pretty cool. So we'll definitely do something like that too. All right. We'll yeah, man. Sounds good. Your chair away on that. So anyway, guys, thanks for listening. Um, don't go anywhere because I'm going to pick up where he left off. I'm going to talk about how to trade level four again. I know we have a lot of new people that are here and then uh, they're just waiting on for the second part of it. So we're going to pick up where we left off. Matt, thanks for coming. Everyone, don't go anywhere. We'll be back in one minute. All right. All right and guys. Don't forget